Bless and bless and night greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's have a few things that the Lord has placed into our hearts to share with you all out there. And before we go into that, I would just like to say a word of prayer. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, Lord, come before your presence, Holy One, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We glorify your name, Lord Father, Lord. I pray that God that every word that comes out of our mouth this evening, Father, I think about it must be pleasing unto you, O oh God, my oh Father, Lord Jesus, for you deserve all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor this evening, Lord. Yes, and Father, Lord, as we are about to do this video this evening, you take over, you take full yes, control Jesus. this evening, Lord, and Amen. you place the right words into our mouths, Lord, and we touch the hearts of your people this evening, yes, Lord. In your precious and holy name, I pray this evening, Amen. God. Amen and amen. A pleasant good night to each and everyone out there this evening. I had two dreams in recent time that I would just like to share with you all this evening. So I will be getting into it at this very moment. The first dream that I had, I was seeing this mighty host of angels. And the angels was gathered in a circle. They all had a trumpet in their hands. And in the circle, there was Jesus. But at first I did not know what was taking place in the circle. I did not I was not aware of what was going on then in the circle. But it was this one angel that this one angel that was standing away from the circle and i also saw myself standing with that angel away from the circle so at first it was very strange to me because i feel like i've i've never experienced it then and that i don't know that i'm not aware of the the lord and it's coming and you know these things so I started to talk to the angel and I started to ask him what is taking place and in, in, in what is going on the what is going on in the circle and the angels the angels started to tell me that that the angels is preparing the Lord for his coming that they they're getting him ready for his coming that his coming is very soon that he'll be coming to take his people from the face of the earth so I said so what it will be like you know like I was talking to the angel so what it will be like when the Lord comes to take his people the angel said to me that the Lord will come and take only the righteous only the one that is seeking him out only the one that is crying out to him only the one that is seeking him dil dil diligently and I said well okay then and the other dream, I was dreaming that me and my husband was getting ready to do this video, to make a video. I, I, I don't know what, what we was going, what the video was going to be about, but we was getting prepared to do this video. And while we was getting prepared to make the video, I heard the Lord saying to me that to warn his people, to warn his people that is coming is soon and very soon to warn his people. The Lord was saying to me, the Lord said, just as it was in the days of Noah, that the people was being rebellious and the people was being hatred, bitterness, everything, just as it was in the days of Noah, and the people that the, Noah was warning the people and the people was laughing at him and the people was mocking him and the people were saying all sort of things. The Lord said to me, the Lord said, just so I just I sending out warning, I sending a message to the people. And the people not taking it seriously, the people making fun, the people laughing, the people mocking the Lord. The people saying all sort of things about the Lord. And the, the Lord said to me to warn his people because when he come and take his people from the face of this earth, that he's going to pour on his wrath upon the ones that will be left behind and the, and the ones that will be here people we need to get our life right with god we need to get serious with the lord the lord 
is really, really the Lord really loves us people. We need to get our life. Now is the time that we should surrender ourselves. Now is the time that we should give the Lord everything. Now is the time that we should diligently seek Him. People, the Lord is the Lord. There will be a day that the Lord will burst the cloud, and it it will be too late for 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 many of us. Many of us will be left behind. Many of us will will not make it with the Lord. And what we will face, it will be worse than what we're going through right now. People, we need to get our heart right with God. You know, and I thank God this evening for His mercy, His love Amen. towards us. You know, the Lord really truly love us. Amen. So again, the Lord is saying, you see, first of all, when I ask yourself one simple question, if the Lord is to bruise that cloud, will we make it with our Maker? Are we living a life that is pleasing unto the Lord Jesus Christ? These are simple things. People in the churches today, are you living a life that is pleasing unto the Lord? Some people don't know the Lord on a Sunday morning. And during the week, they forget they go back living a normal life as usual. And Sunday again, they go back. But are you living a life that is pleasing unto us? That question to ask. Because as you hear Sister Davy was saying, the Lord said, just like how it was in the days of Noah, it's the same as that we are facing today. And everything, every time the Lord sent out a message, or every time the Lord tried to warn the people, they take it. I hear the Lord coming a long time. I thought I'm born, I hear the Lord coming. Amen. This is what the people keep saying, they're laughing. Some people just come, my mind double shut. I want to read this and the Lord just come and just laugh and say, I hear that since, since I born, my great grandmother was telling me that. So as I saying, let's keep asking ourselves, if the day the Lord is about to come, are we going to make it with our maker? And you see, we've been taught a lot of wrong things in our life. You see, first of all, we just feel that, you know, we say a sinner's prayer, that is, we, are, we repent. But repentance is not just a sinner's prayer. Repentance is turning from our wicked ways. Because if it, in Second Chronicles 7, 14, the Lord says, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and turn from the wicked ways and seek my face, he said, he said, Then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Amen. He didn't say before. So repentance is not just a sinner's privilege of turning from our wicked ways. Amen. And all I just want to say, we all just make mistakes in life. None of us are perfect. The only perfect mm -hmm. God, the Lord Jesus Christ, walk with us and so But God is a forgiving God, is a merciful, is a loving, is a kind God. Yes, yes. And we have to mean from the heart when we speak, when we talk to the Lord, we cry to the Lord, let it come from the heart. You see, God does know. God, you see, we mock it open and see things, but we sound like we just sound like brass. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know, but when we mean it from the heart, it come out with a song. And when it comes out with a song, it touches the Lord's heart. You understand? Know, so, and everything we do in him, we do it, try our best to do it, please it to the Lord. So we must rephrase and ask yourself. And when we do things, we must think before we do. You see, sometimes we do things and then we think after. True. Now, I tell you my mistakes, so I make a lot of mistakes in life. But you know, the Lord loves us still, no matter what. Amen. That is why He gave His life on the cross for sinners like us today. Amen. That we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly. And I just want to tell you on behalf of me and Sister Davy, that we love you all a lot. And because we love you all a lot, this is why we are sharing the truth to you all this evening. Amen? Amen. And I also want to just tell you all to just keep holding on, no matter what comes our way this evening, to keep holding on to the Lord Jesus Christ because He is the only way this evening. Yes. There is no other way. Amen? Amen? We cannot buy our way to heaven. But we can surrender our heart to the Lord Jesus Christ and He will make it true for us. Amen? Amen. We love you. Bye. You take care. Bye.